Hello Libras, this is you versus them for the 5th through the 11th. This is for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. If you guys are new, welcome to the channel. Please hit the like button, share the video, and subscribe. Let's see what you guys were dealing with here in the past. Hmm, devil. Hmm. Fighting off things that you feel like you've been like overly focused on or... Um, energy that you feel not feel is not good for you people that are not good for you um, situations that are not good for you I, I think kind of dealing with you know some inner you know fears within yourself like um, feeling like you know kind of doubting yourself is what I'm getting here okay for some of you Capricorn energy there oh okay and then the Page of Pentacles jumps out for them. Um, this person, I feel, has been trying to offer something, uh, time, energy, but they're coming as a page. So uh, I think that this is not as effective as they may want it to be. Um, I don't think that... I think this is just very immature. It's coming across as... Um, you know, it's not a king or a queen, okay? Not even a knight. So this person is almost like, you know, being still. They're not really, like, doing anything that you really can see um, that would be beneficial for you to progress here, okay? Let's see what's keeping you away from them. What's keeping you from this person here? The Four of Cups. Hmm. I think you guys don't want to reunite or unite, reconnect with this person even. Um, I think that right now you're focused on just loving yourself. It's not. It's like you're not allowing anything in from them or anyone else at this point in time. But as far as this person is concerned, um, I don't think that you're willing to open up and extend your love to them either. At this point, that's cancer energy right there. Okay, let's see what's keeping them from you. Hmm, fool. Oh. Um, I, I feel like this person's very kind of kid like. Um, I think, and they may not even be a kid, they may be a, a full grown adult. And they are exhibiting this energy that you feel like is very foolish. It's very immature. Um, like it does not have a lot of substance to it is what I'm getting here. Okay? And you're not wanting to take a leap of faith with them. Basically. Let's see what is currently going on with you guys here. Seven of Pentacles. Hmm. I feel like you've already vet invested enough time and energy in a situation and um, you're kind of just waiting to see how this pans out. I think that you're not willing to invest anything else. You're not willing to make a move towards them. Um, it, it's just that you you are like waiting. Okay? You're waiting. You feel like you've done enough where this person is concerned. Taurus energy there. And I think you're just not trying to go forward because the Seven of Pentacles is facing towards the past. Like, you know, you, you've already done enough where the situation is concerned. Okay. Let's see what's currently going on for them. Five of Cups. Feeling very sad, down. Feeling like, no, you guys are not going to reconnect. Feeling like there's no love there. There's not enough love there. Um, that, you know, all is lost, basically can't get it back it's done it's a done deal basically is how they're feeling right now Scorpio energy there hmm yeah okay so let's see <clears throat> what is influencing you guys here the four of wands your own emotional stability um, I think you just 
the fours are stable numbers here. You have two right there together. I think you're more focused on yourself, focused on being happy, like within yourself, within your immediate family, even, um, you know, with friends and, and at work. And it's like you're really just focus on yourself and your happiness, your stability, your security, and not really allowing, you know, this person in because I think that they kind of throw you off. They throw you off here emotionally. And I really don't think you're trying to have that. Okay. Let's see what their outside influence is here. The Knight of Wands. Hmm. They want to move forward. They they want they want you to be interested, okay? They want um, they want to move forward with you. But the thing is, I don't feel like this person is stable. I feel like you know, one minute they're present and with you and and want what you want and you know trying to meet you halfway, and then the next moment they're out, like you don't even see that they have any interest okay let's see what's coming in for you guys what's coming in for Libra the two of cups mm. a reciprocal love cancer energy there as well I feel like there is um, there, there's an energy in the ear of reuniting here with a past love is what I'm getting okay and I'm not sure if it's this person but um, but there is an energy of reuniting with someone from the past I feel okay so let's see what's coming in for them what's coming in for them moving on moving away from the hurt um, you know stop the crying over spilled milk and just kind of using some logic and reasoning to um, you know move out of that energy so I feel like they will um, get better as far as their emotional state not sure if they will continue to be in and out but I do feel like they're, they'll leave that the you know the hurt behind feeling like you know all is lost and instead of crying over spilled milk trying to get your attention in, in probably very immature ways here with the page of pentacles and the fool acting very foolish up there okay so let's see what the blockage is for you guys what's the blockage for Libra the hermit Looking back on past relationships, um, so very focused on your own stability. Hmm. I think you're you're looking for something that is exciting as well. You're looking for excitement, and and I feel like you're shining a, a light on, you know, what this relationship or what this connection with this person does not have that you want that will bring you stability and um, I feel like you're isolating yourself from this individual and um, you're really just kind of reflecting on on things at this point kind of playing things over in your head about why this is is not a good idea or why you want the things that you want why you deserve to have certain things in your life okay and you don't feel like this person is it is what the blockage is. There's certain there's a certain standard that you want for yourself. And and you're exploring what that is. You're still figuring things out here, I feel. Let's see what the blockage is for them. Hmm. Not loving themselves. This person needs some healing. They need some healing for sure. But you know, I'm just getting that honestly. I feel like there is a lot of love between the two of you guys, um, but there's something going on with this person I feel like that they need to look inside of themselves for because I think you know they're looking for someone to make them happy, but they need to find their happiness from within, from God, you know. Hmm. Let's see what the advice is for you guys here. What is the advice for Libra? What's the advice for Libra? 
Ten of Pentacles. Hmm. Build on those things that you feel like are going to be stable and grounded in your life. Okay? Only, only involve yourself in relationships where people are devoting um, the time and energy necessary to build a very strong foundation um, in a relationship. Be very committed. Be all in. Um, not half-stepping here. Okay? Something where you can actually build a, you know, build a family. If you guys want kids, you know, make sure that they want kids. You know, if they if they want to get married, if you want to get married, make sure they want to get married. If that's something that they see, but they need to be on the same accord with you, so you guys can build a legacy, um, a foundation together here. Okay. And it's for you to be all in. But do not take anything that you feel like you know is not vibing with you. Is what I'm getting here. And this is being there for other people as well. Let's see what their advice is here. The King of Wands, they need more, they need to stand in their in their power. They need to stand in their element. They need to man up or woman up because they're coming here as a page. They're coming here as a Knight of Wands. They need to be the King of Wands, somebody that has control over their emotions, over their actions, um, is excited about life in general. Okay. That's what I'm getting from that. Let's see what the outcome is for you guys. What is the outcome for Libra? <clears throat> Two of Pentacles. Hmm. I think you guys are not going to be sure if, you know, about the choices that you have made in regards to this person. Um, there's something that is still kind of up in the air with this individual because again I feel like you know there is definitely love between the two of you but at the same time it's like you don't feel like this person meets you like the maturity level you feel like they're kind of flaky something something is not right with them they are um, you know, foolish in their actions even, that they need to love themselves, that they're not, you know, mature. They're not mature and they want what they want here. And um, when they don't get it, then it's like, you know, they're acting like, whoa, it's me. But I see them leaving that energy behind and maybe they will, you know, start to stand in their elements, stand in their power and, um, move forward okay and become a king of wands here let's see what the outcome is for you guys for them rather change change mm-hmm the will of fortune there so whatever you're putting into it is what you get out of it um there's some karma i feel like coming around to this person new cycle beginning and depending on what they do um you know, with it is what they're going to get out of it here. Okay, so we have Aquarius, Scorpio, Aries, um, any other fire sign, Leo, Sagittarius, Scorpio energy. I think I already said that. Um, Capricorn is here, Virgo's here, and um, Cancer and, and Taurus energy is present as well. Okay, guys, so that is what I have for you, and um, I'll be speaking with you guys soon.